In the previous video, we explored ways in which you could switch from one set of panels to another by using a feature called workspaces, which remember which panels are on screen and where they are, usually geared to a specific task. Now, it's really handy that you have the Essentials workspace. It includes a multitude of panels that are classed as being required for day to day editing in Photoshop, but it might not be the tools and panels that you need. So what we can do is create our own. Now, in this case, I'm going to modify the workspace and then create my own. So I'm going to expand open this panel here called the history panel, right click on the name history and then choose close to make it disappear. I'm going to keep color and swatches. But for now, I'm going to remove gradients by right clicking on it and choosing close. And I'm also going to close patterns by right clicking and also choosing close. I don't need libraries for now, so I will right click on that and choose close. And then properties and adjustments do work hand in hand. So I'm going to left click on the word adjustments, click and hold down the mouse and drag that out from its current home. But then I'm going to dock it just above properties. So I'm going to click and drag upwards position my cursor just above that panel called properties. When you see the thin blue line appear, let go of the mouse and it will dock it above. That's handy because you generally want to apply the adjustment first by clicking one of these symbols and then you modify that particular adjustment in the properties panel. I'm going to hover my cursor over the dividing line for layers and you'll see my cursor changes to a scaling symbol. I'm going to click and drag and pull that down so I can see more options in the properties panel. I'll take my cursor up to the top of the workspace switcher menu and then go down to what's called new workspace. Left click on that. I'll give this a name and call this basic. Notice that lower down there are ways in which you can capture a set of keyboard shortcuts for this specific workspace. And you can also choose to hide menu items and even tailor make the tools bar to your own liking as well. But in this case, will just capture which panels are on screen. Click on save. Now you'll notice that when you go back to the workspace switcher menu, your user created workspaces appear at the top of the list. And if you decide to work and manipulate these panels across your screen to make them easier to access, you can always go back to that same workspace switcher menu and choose reset basic to get them back to a tidy position along the outside of the interface. That's how you create your own workspace and save it for future use so that you have the tools that you need, not the ones that Photoshop assumes that you need.